Hello everyone, uh, this information comes from Screen Rant, so I'll leave a link in the description below for Screen Rant. Uh, this is uh, the official information for QD, images and everything. The official description is, Beyblade vs Quad Drive Tech puts the future of Beyblade battling in your hands with the first time ever 4-in-1 Beyblade top. Each Quad Drive top can be configured to four different ways, giving you four different ways to customize, battle, to win, size up your blah 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 blah. blah. Customize top to core to apex mode for uh, balance type or core plus and apex plus mode for stamina type. And then after in the app, so I guess there's core and apex, so I'm assuming that core is the normal part of the tip and apex is the attachment, I guess. Uh, this is the set, it comes with Destruction Bellfire and surprise surprise, Magma Ifrit. Uh, obviously they were going to release it, I've been saying it's just going to be a Hasbro release and there you go. I'm going to ignore the fact that Bellfire is missing detail as usual for Hasbro Bays and just focus on the stuff. So this is the actual set, all of it says it's supposed to be for... for January. But like at the start, but we already know probably it'll be sooner because just suggested doesn't mean exact. It's Magma Eye Fritter. The parts are a little bit hard to read on it. If someone can read that, there you go. But it is a long name, geez. Uh, so with Eye Frit, there's the attachment for Wave and there is Jaggy. We know there's the Sequex disc. I don't know what the armors are, but the armors look different. Billfire looks interesting, but you can tell that Venture does not actually have the rubber on it. I don't, that's, okay, that is a little bit weird. So, I guess this also kind of confirms in the way that it's, well, it's, well, okay, if Venture looks like that, and Venture's just going to be the attachment on the thing, then I really doubt in any possible way they're going to somehow have the slots to put the V-gear on it. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but that's what it definitely looks like. Uh, anything else? So obviously they do have the low and the high. Oh, Corn Apex. Yeah, there you go. Corn Apex. So, oh, okay, because there's the attachments. Okay, that's going to be really weird to remember, but yeah, there is the low and high mode, though it's not going to really matter too much for Hasbro because <laughs> the armors aren't metal, then <laughs> it's not going to really make that much of a difference. And it very well does seem like the armors are not metal from what I've heard last seen on the pictures right now. Uh, the set's really cool too. You can actually customize it and it has the three levels on it so that is really cool. Obviously the stadium was bound to be good. I don't think anyone thought that the stadium was going to be bad. Uh, I like it. I like the stadium a bit. Bays, I don't know. Hopefully the bays are good. I want a season that's better than Surge where the bays are actually viable because like literally what was it like I guess Triumph was really the only right spin viable that you could argue for Hasbro. I hope they do a good job and they don't skip out on the gimmicks. I don't know how they're going to do the gears. Probably they're not going to do the gears right. Seemingly, unless they're just going to do another release where one of them already has the gears on it. Uh, this is a closer look at the actual stadium itself and it looks cool. It looks cool. How effective is it? We don't know. Wow, those, those bays are really low quality. Jeez, look at them. <laughs> look at them. They look so weird. Oh god. Yeah, but uh, moving on, we have our Cyclone Fury String Launcher, obviously, to bait you for Cyclone Rock Tavor. I'm a little bit confused because I actually was kidding. I didn't, I, I said, oh, maybe they're not going to give the wing gimmick. I actually think they might actually not be giving it the wing gimmick. Uh, it comes with a String Launcher. Hopefully it's better than the dual threats. That's really what all I want. If it is, that'll be awesome. Low and high mode, so there is the attachment where the bottom piece is never. I don't know what that top piece is supposed to be. Is that like survive or something? That's really weird. So, that's going to be also troublesome because... Okay, yeah, stamina and attack, okay. So, that's going to be a thing where like, okay, because it's like two different... Wait, so what was it at the start then? Let me go at the start. So, it goes from attack to stamina, it goes from balance to attack. So, so wait. Okay, because I guess they're just counting, yeah, okay, whatever. Well, that's gonna be a little bit troublesome, because like, what about gimmicks? So they're not gonna mention the gimmicks and they're just like, hey, well, you got the low and the high mode. It's like, well, yeah, but <laughs> what about the rest? Uh, Giga looks, so I just honestly hope the discs weigh something. And I hope Rocktivore has that wing gimmick. 
Obviously this was just a bait so you go buy the Rock Tavor launcher set because there's just the recolor that's normal. Uh, this one we already know it's supposed to come with a new disc on it and it has the, the fuel or whatever. It looks okay. I actually, I'm actually now confirming now that those wings definitely look perma fused, which I will cry. <sighs> it kind of sucks because if that, that is the case, it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, there's low and high mode, whatever, but if the bays are just going to be hollowed out nerf, that's really going to suck. I mean, we already know that there's obviously no palm on the Never, but I still hope there's maybe that little free spin on it. I, I, I just hope they... Uh, what, what, am I, what am I saying? Hope for these bays? Uh, there's also this one, which is uh, Bellfire's Recolor. It's actually in uh, reference to the white, what was it? I think it was Dynamite Ragnarok or something, kind of. And it kind of has like, yeah, it looks nice. I actually like that Recolor. Could have painted a bit more. Yeah, you can. You can definitely. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. The armors are definitely plastic. You can tell. You can tell. Oh God. Well, uh, I mean, honestly, it looks cool. I think. That, okay, this is what. I, this is my bold prediction. I think the bays are okay. It's probably gonna be the thing where it's like maybe like hypersphere. I don't think the bays are gonna be better than what Turbo had to offer. I think the performance tips will obviously be fun. That's a given. I think the stadium will most likely be fun. I think the actual performance of the bays, if you actually try to use them, probably not going to be that good. Just want to see it. when people say, "Oh, well, at least it'll be better than Sarah Jarrah." It's like, yeah, but those two weren't really that good to begin with, so it's like, eh. but uh, I mean, yeah, it's cool, I guess. So. I'm hoping it does good. Also, if you've noticed, there's no plastic in the packaging. They transitioned to that, so I did guess that they probably would. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for this video. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe if you're in the air. Comment letting me know your thoughts. Uh, we will try to get it as soon as we can. Obviously, we can't get sponsored in the videos, so I will be hunting through Toys R Us to try to get it. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's cool, I guess, but I hope the bays are good. Can't wait uh, to see videos <laughs> if there's just people just selling out, just being like, hey guys, this bay is so good, actually, go buy it. I just hope the stuff is good, please. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, bye.